Hello and welcome to a very short but important update. It's 27th today. Um, I wanted to give some um, some information, which is fairly new news. In fact, it's pretty unique. Uh, it's just about, I think, to break on the internet um, that many people in Britain might have had a virus similar to the coronavirus back in December. And uh, what I need to perhaps to tell you, I can tell you now, is that uh, there was a, a bio attack in Britain. Uh, all, I, all I know is it was in December. I don't know when it could have been very early December. I guess it could have been very late November. Um, the virus that was used for that attack was not the same virus and did not come out of the same laboratory as the virus that's now <clears throat> ravaging the world. And there are two very important countries on the planet. One is Great Britain and the United States of America. There are many other very important countries in the world. But there are two countries that are working very closely together one is the President of the United States of America and one is the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Boris Johnson. And these two are seen as world leaders who are supporting each other. Um, the attack on Britain was a much weaker form of virus that did not come out of the Wuhan Biological Laboratory. And do you remember the old adage that, you know, when, you know, uh, so they say that one country gets a flu or a cold, the other one catches it. And they were having a bit of a joke, a parody on this. The fact of the matter is that Britain was subject to a viral attack. It was not the COVID-19. It was a much weaker strain. This was done either in late November, early December. It was released, and I, all I know, it was released somewhere in southern England. I do not believe it was necessarily released in the London area because after the, the Novichok uh, attack when the Skipples were poisoned um, the Metropolitan Police and MI5 have been very, very uh, vigilant around the, the, the London area proper. So this was a different sort of attack, probably in the outskirts south of London somewhere. Why? Because... Uh, the political environment in Britain under Boris Johnson has changed. The Black Hats are not uh, operating in anything like with the freedom in Britain that they did, even under the previous Prime Minister, Theresa May, who was just a non-entity. That's why she wore that great big, always had a chain around her neck, because she was uh, telling the world that she was a slave, she was a prisoner. Uh, but under Boris um, under the guise of <clears throat> we're changing the civil service, those of you who've had the time to read it know that he's doing a big shake-up of the civil service. This is a complete cover for removing black hats from uh, the intelligence networks and indeed in government. So this was a de definite attack. And those of you who had a flu-like symptom in December, but much worse than flu, but but not like this virus that was an attack that was not an ordinary seasonal flu I can absolutely tell you uh, I I was told this some while ago was asked not to say anything because um, the security services were using the cover that nobody knew about it to try and get to the people who were behind it to try to secure the borders um, but it, it is it is um, it's about to break there are a lot of people who are individually saying, hey, I had a really bad flu-like thing over December. Um, that's really strange. And I've had a number of people write to me, giving me their, um, you know, how it, how it manifested in their body. And I've written back and said things like, well, that's extremely interesting. Thank you, because at that stage, you couldn't say anything. But it is about, I think, to break. Um, and I think also enough time has elapsed uh, for the good guys to have done what they needed to have done. 
so I haven't had the okay to do this uh, I just feel I, I've got to, to say to tell you that all right that's the first point of news the second point of news is that um, you know I'm linking this very carefully with the or very clearly I should say with the second attack which has occurred in China but was obviously as you guess now was meant for America I can tell you that the virus was intended to have been released in America Britain got it first but a much weaker strain not the same virus at all and then this heavy strain uh, was supposed to have been released in America um, so yes it doesn't matter where it was released it creates the economic uh, slowdown or, or potential collapse but had it been released in America the hope was that it would have caused such a, uh, a vacuum there could have been a coup not the military the military won't do a coup against the president but the elite class could and a lot of those are politicians so um, under the cover of something awful they could try and attempt to kill the United States president could try and do everything so that was the point but it did not get released in America I'm being absolutely open with you now I've been guarding that word but I'm being open now with you um, it was it was unfortunately released for the poor Chinese in China but fortunately for the Americans it wasn't released where it was intended it was to have been purchased in China on the black market as I explained taken to America probably in a diplomatic bag so that it couldn't be found or searched and then released probably in New York probably we can't be sure but that looks to be the target that I've been told right now then at the end of this I've asked Andy who's the the great guy who does all of my internet stuff for me uh, to put a link to amazing Polly those of you who know her will go oh great those of you who don't know her you should still go oh great I want you to watch it please amazing Polly is someone I have not met uh, she's in America and I agree with nearly everything that she's come forward with and um, she's done it's only about uh, a week old she's done a, a YouTube video talking about um, people like George Soros and Bill Gates and particularly about uh, the AIDS Foundation something like 90 billion dollars has been uh, gained by this this AIDS Foundation under the banner of we're trying to cure AIDS uh, and what Polly is showing is that actually uh, it's probably not that it's probably a big laboratory making stuff now what's really key is that um, George Soros in January 2018 made a statement and Polly does show this so George Soros in January 2018 makes a statement that by January 2020 Bill Clinton um, Bill Clinton God <laughs> um, uh, President Trump will probably not be in office now that's very interesting now you immediately say oh well that's probably because he knew about the impeachment uh, no I don't think so I think it's because people like George Soros and Bill Gates have a very strong connection to um, laboratories that are publicly tasked with finding cures for viruses and I think that uh, the attack that we had in Great Britain a mild attack and more importantly actually this big attack with the world is getting now uh, was part of a plan without question of a doubt to remove the president of the United States had that virus been released in America there would have been a political vacuum a political attack and that could have been the opportunity to remove the president and regardless of whether <clears throat> that was successful or not there would have been a huge financial impact in America but because it was released in China there has been weeks for it to come over which gave the good guys time to try to plan and mitigate and work something out because President Trump is trying with with the house has been trying to give money directly to people not just to the corporations you, you've got to keep the airlines open or you've got to keep them viable you've got to keep the transport companies viable you have to do that but also there's money for individuals so money being paid directly to people uh, that's that's really almost unique 
that, that, that that's happening and it's happening in Great Britain it just shows how closely America and Britain are working there is a war Polly uses the war the word a war yes there really is a war taking place and that's why some days ago now I said to you that the white hats had been pushed into a position where they had nothing to lose you know you talk about the Constitution defending the Constitution defending the president the office of the president it's more than that now it's about humanity it's about a fight for humanity because if these bad guys win then frankly it's the end of humanity it really is because these bad guys are, are, have got an absolute agenda to do uh, everything that we have talked about for years that's why it's a war on now the good guys in the military and also in some of the intelligence agencies who have decided that enough is enough and uh, this is their time to take them out that's what's going on at the moment it doesn't mean that the the white hats are going to be 100 percent successful what it means is that the white hats are going to have some success and to be able to push the, the black hats back some distance because people like those names I've mentioned have so much money so much influence and so many people are blackmailed that what, what do they say in Alabama dug in like an Alabama tick so in other words there are individuals who are cushioned and secured by deception fear bribery blackmail money threats of violence all of those things and for years they have remained untouchable that's not quite the case now they're pretty secure these top guys but but not exclusively so and what occurred in Britain and China and the rest of the world of course has gone beyond you know there were only two ways out of it for the bad guys it was a nuclear bomb a dirty bomb or all this virus because they tried they tried the impeachment it didn't work they've tried killing the president they've tried killing the first lady they've tried killing the children they've tried doing all of this uh, and it just didn't work it didn't they didn't make it happen so they were forced with a nuclear bomb or all the virus the gun for the virus now don't for one second think that these elite people don't have the vaccine of course they do and I've been saying to you that you, you know a laboratory runs on the left hand the, the, the pathogen and on the right hand it works the vaccine so they they had the vaccine for this the white hats don't have it the black hats do now perhaps people will understand why I was trying to say that if the white hats had a vaccine I'd take it but if it came from any of those other uh, agencies or organizations I wouldn't touch it because yeah absolutely if you don't get them with with the with the virus you get them with the vaccine so this is a war that's now taking place <clears throat> it's very serious I'd like you please to make time to to, to watch Amazing Polly uh, those of you who know her you may already have seen seen it but those of you who haven't or have missed this one the link will be placed at the bottom of this presentation and I would seriously urge you to to, to do that so we do have a, a very strong connection between very rich men uh, laboratory facilities studying viruses the release of a virus in Britain which nobody will own up to nobody will will back me up nobody will say oh yes Simon's telling the truth except people who you know like myself who know know the truth the authorities can't ever dare to do that um, and again the same with 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 what happened in China there isn't going to be a single government that says yeah this is a bioweapon they're not going to come out publicly those of you who know uh, knew this was a bioweapon those of those of you who were close I mean truly close to the intelligence it's very easy for people to they, they brag and they, they they say oh you know I, I, I have contact with this my my sources told me this my sources told me that uh, what, you know I, I, I do very fortunately have a connection to these people um, because they're good people and they want the truth out and they can't do it themselves you know if you if you're in a secret job you can't be seen to be publicly passing information you can do it privately sometimes they do it without authorization sometimes they do it with authorization okay so I have a situation where uh, as the Italians would say in ancient Rome they, they crossed the Rubicon they've gone too far 
they've gone too far. He tried to uh, wipe out the United States of America financially, tried to kill the president. There's nothing new in that. They've been doing that for years. They killed Kennedy, so it's nothing new for them. But to destroy the economy of the United States just to get at President Trump, that's not just desperation, that's insanity. Think of all the innocent people who are going to be dead and sick just so that a group, a handful of people, could remove the one man that stands between them and absolute power. That's a pretty powerful statement. But President Trump is the one man that stands between these bad people and absolute power. Because the military are tied into a democracy in the United States of America. The military don't really want to come out on the streets because that's called a coup. And that is against the very constitution that the American military uh, hold up so high. <clears throat> you know, military men and women shouldn't play politics. They shouldn't do that. But they've been forced into doing it because they can't stand back any longer and see the evil, corrupt politicians uh, not just making huge amounts of money because that's normal, but destroying what humanity stands for. And so that's why President Trump was chosen. That's why he agreed to it. A big, physically big man, an emotionally big man who could take all the punishment um, safe in the fact that he knew there was a, a good strong group of military who were behind him and also he was sickened by what he had seen and learned so what i'm saying is that um, the military need president trump because they can't put a tank on the street unless they became absolutely desperate so they use president trump as that that wall to try to push away this evil so that's what's playing out a massive war unseen there are bullets and bombs but not in the traditional sense of it and i please ask you to watch amazing polly because there is the evidence there um, which shows that this has been a long held out plan so this statement by soros in january 2018 was not about um necessarily about the uh, impeachment although there were lots of people who hoped the impeachment would get rid of the president but anybody who truly understood politics knew that wasn't the case now many people at the highest level knew this was the plan the impeachment plan and that's why think back now please to the united states primaries in in british or european times you perhaps won't know the primary is a, a midterm election maybe i should call it that in the midterm elections, it was clear that the, the cities, the big places like California, were going to go with the Democrats and vote against Trump. Midterm election. What President Trump did was concentrate on the Senate because he knew and, the, and those around him knew they were going to go for an impeachment. And that as long as he held the Senate, he could never be impeached. So anyone in politics would know the president was never going to be impeached as long as he held the Senate. So when these evil men talk about President Trump will probably be gone by January 2020, they weren't really referring to an impeachment process. They were referring to an economic collapse in the United States of America, which somehow the people would then blame the president for. But because this glass culture was released in China, not in America. A, it didn't have the political impact. B, the timing was all out. It didn't happen within days. It took weeks for this to, to reach America. It allowed the very good people, who there are, there are still a lot of good people out there, please don't think that they're not, to work out a whole range of options. And the biggest argument I can tell you was where do we go do we just keep appeasing them, which is what they've been doing, or do we go for it, hell for leather? And they decided to go hell for leather. So that is why this is a war now. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, I couldn't say this thing about the British um, virus attack in December simply because 
the, the white hats needed the time because they believe that there's a, a, a cell in Britain. It's not someone who's just come in. In the Schiphol case, somebody came in, did the poisoning, jumped on an aeroplane, went out again. They actually think that there was diplomatic assistance with this attack, and therefore they wanted more time to get to grips with that. Um, but I think now enough time has, has come, and you know, uh, I, I must tell the people what I know without compromising any individual who's a good person. All right, that's it. Thanks very much.